Hi viewer, I welcome you to your room TV. It is the station where you watch and learn. We'll be taking you through business studies form two, lesson one. The topic it is forms of business units. I'm your tutor, Lucy Mabem. Let us look at our lesson goals today. We are going to look at a uh, so proprietorship. So by the end of the lesson, the runner should be able to discuss the sole proprietorship. Now, when we talk about sole proprietorship, uh, we are go before we get to that, we are going to look at general thing that is where how is it started, how is it managed, uh, where does that uh, person get the, the capital to start the business, or that is what you are going to deal with in this topic but before we get to that um, we want to look at the business unit now, when we talk about the business unit these are firms that can be formed by an individual or a group of individuals or the government uh, so you can get that this is a, an organization or a firm that can be formed by either one person or a group of individuals or even the government and when we talk about the business unit remember they must be aimed at getting the profit so when an individual starts uh, a uh, business unit a firm that one will, it is the one that we are referring to it as the sole proprietorship when a group of individuals it can give us the partnership. It can also give us the cooperatives. It can also give us the, comp the, the companies. So we get a number of them. And when government start these funds, they can be parastatus and public corporations. So we can get all that as business unit. In this topic, we shall discuss business unit with regard to their ownership formation, management, sources of capital, dissolution, advantages and their disadvantages. And we are starting with the first one, that is the sole proprietorship. Now, when we talk about the sole proprietorship, as you can be able to see um, in that uh, image that we have there we have a number of them and these business organizations that we have we have classified them according to their ownership who owns the business firm we have sole proprietorship that is won by only one person we also have partnership cooperative and corporations we start with the first one that is um, the one that we are referring to it as the sole proprietorship. One, we look at who owns the business. Ownership. This is the business owned by an individual who is referred to as the sole proprietor or the sole trader. He sells goods to the final consumer. So he deals with the consumer directly. That is uh, about the ownership. It is one by one person. And if, or even a family. A family can own a sole proprietorship business. How is it formed? Now, when we talk about each formation, we have figure legal formalities are required. In Kenya, a person who intend to start a grocery or a food vendor, a kiosk, one needs only an application to his or a local authority for permission to set up and operate the business. So you only need to apply for the permission. And when permission is granted, you just get the trading license. Uh, when the trading license is issued to the trader on payment of the trade license fee, you are ready to start the business. 
So you can see very few Lego formalities that are required in order for you to start uh, the sole proprietorship business. You only need writing the letter to, to the local authority, you get the permission, then from there you get the trading license. Management. It is managed by the sole proprietor, although uh, he or she can employ other individuals. Yes, I've won the business, but I am allowed to employ other people or get assistance from family members in running the business. You can either employ other individuals or even use the family members in running the business. We go to capital. Where does this person get the capital? The main source of capital is one owner's saving or this sole proprietor savings. Apart from the sole proprietor's savings, we have others. He can get the contribution. He can contribute from the family members. That is one of the so other sources. Contribution from the family members. He can also borrow from friends, from the bank as well. He, you, he can also get uh, money from other lending institutions. You borrow as well. Then we have the inheritance. You can inherit a business. And then you become the sole proprietor. Number three, there is the donations from friends. You can get donations from friends and yet you start a business. You become a sole proprietor. Then we have the credit buying. This is where now you get goods on credit. You come with them, sell them, then give back the money by the end of the day. That is the credit buying. And yet you are selling and getting a profit. Number five, plowing back profit. This is a point where now you start reinvesting the profit which you are getting back to the business. Number six, there is the leasing and renting out property. Where now you lease either one of your properties in order for you to get money to start a business. Or even you can rent it. Those are the sources for their activity. You can be able to see, before you go to the activity, you can be able to see how the sole proprietor uh, looks like. Is the one to provide the capital? Is the one to incur the debts? Is the one to pay them? Everything is going back to the, this one of the business. You're the one to do the management, you're the one to fund the, the business, and also you're the one to make even all the debts, pay them. You invest your money there, and you cater for all the liabilities, all the debts. You cater for them. Activity for today, explain four sources of capital for sole proprietorship. For reference, you can get the KRB 2011 Inventor Secondary Business Student Book 2, that edition. If I tell you have, uh, you have any, any information you require to get us, you can send an SMS, you can also visit the YouTube, you can get us from the Facebook, and also you can Twitter us. Stay tuned to Edim TV. Thank you.